What is up guys, Robert here from Swaff Gaming, got you a little tutorial today. I'm going to teach you how to get the best possible settings with your little mini Dazzle. Um, Dazzle, of course, is one of the lower end capture cards, a little bit better than an uh, easy cap, but, you know, still pretty cheap. And I'm going to help you get the most out of it. First, you're going to want to have this program called Pinnacle Studio Ultimate 12, which I will provide a free download link in the description or a video that shows you how to get it. But uh, to capture, open up the program, click the little capture tab you see right there that I already clicked. Uh, sorry, I'm falling a little bit behind on this. Um, don't worry about the error message, just, just because I don't have my Dazzle plugged in at the moment. But uh, anyway, click this little bubble right here saying custom settings just below this little uh, pie chart. Uh, click the settings tab and uh, here, let's go ahead and start changing these settings up. All right, capture source. Make sure that is Dazzle DVC 100 or whatever type of Dazzle you have. Audio also should be Dazzle. Um, don't click any of these settings. It's at the bottom one. No scene detection. That will help your video out a little bit and prevent lag. On uh, TV standard, click NTSC if you're from North America or PAL if you're from uh, Europe. But for me, of course, I'm American, so I'll click NTSC. And as for aspect ratio, click 16 by 9 to uh, fill the entire YouTube video uh, video placeholder or whatever. Uh, as for go on the capture format tab, for presets, click MPEG 1 slash 2 um, under custom settings, or just click custom on the settings thing. Uh, MPEG type, MPEG type 2. Uh, resolution uh, the max possible for your capture card so like if you have a dazzle of course it'll be 720 by 480 or if you have an HD dazzle I think the resolution is 1280 by 720 not 100% sure but click the best possible resolution uh, for kilobytes per second make sure that is 8000 that is what the dazzle supports you go any faster or lower than that the video will be either sped up or slower uh, for compression MPEG layer type 2 uh, make sure the top little squares uh, checked in and shaded uh, for sample rate under the audio uh, 48 kilohertz should be set to that automatically but uh, make sure that none of these settings are checked under project preferences uh, for project format make sure it's NTSC widescreen or if you're from Europe PAL widescreen sorry once that when you drink water as for durations you shouldn't have to check any of those mess with any of those settings when adding the disk menu, make sure you do not create chapters. Don't create chapters. Uh, you don't have to worry about how many seconds since you're not making chapters. And uh, yeah, go ahead and click the video and audio preferences tab. Um, under video preview, make sure enable full resolution preview is not checked. That will prevent further lag when you're recording. And make sure hard rel acceleration is checked. Um, the reason why you turn off it, full resolution preview is like uh, the video when you're recording it it'll pop up in the screen as you're recording it but if you turn that off uh, you'll get a black screen while recording which will prevent a lot of lag on your capture so make sure your video is not really jumpy um, for the preview screen you can set that to your main computer monitor if you have two computer monitors you can set it use your second uh, the video will pop up on your other monitor um, external none that's yeah just leave it that as it is it shouldn't have anything uh, when you're doing your commentary, if you want to do a live commentary, this is also a place to st set that up. Um, I don't have a microphone plugged in right now, but you know, you don't have to worry about that. And uh, make sure that it's 16 bit stereo and 41.1 kilohertz if you're doing a commentary. Uh, background and rendering, make sure enable background rendering is checked. Uh, set, use this code up for background rendering. Uh, MPEG 2 best output to disk uh, surround sound that is not enabled because Dazzle does not su support surround sound and uh, as for your settings that's pretty much done with your settings now here keep getting that stupid error is on my Dazzle plugged in but uh, go ahead and click this little camera icon uh, video input uh, increase your brightness a little bit if you want to this is optional but I like to increase the brightness so people can see everything perfectly Contrast, you really don't have to mess with that too much. You can increase it a little bit if you want to. But as for sharpness, uh, do not increase it by that much. Uh, if you over sharpen it, uh, everything just looks all weird. And I don't want to explain it really comic y, and it's just weird. So I uh, just increase that to about where I have it right there. Hue, don't mess with that. That's just basically changing all the colors to something, you know, per like yellows will turn blue. Just weird. 
Um, as for saturation, I like to increase that a little bit because it gives everything, you know, it makes color corrections a lot easier and uh, makes everything look a lot better. It gives it more of an HD PVR kind of look to it because PVRs have really good color quality to them. Uh, for video input, if you're using the uh, or like the yellow cable only, the RCA composite cables, you know, whatever, you know, the typical cables, click that. If you do have an S video cable, which is what I use, which I definitely recommend getting these guys. I mean, seriously, you're jumping from regular dazzle quality to almost PVR quality instantly just by getting a simple five to ten dollar cable. Um, they're really cheap. Buy them on eBay. Trust me, it's worth investing the extra couple of dollars. It increases your quality so much. After you're done capturing, go to the edit tab and drag your video down to the timeline. Um, cut the video up any way you like it. Um, you can do a commentary over it. But once you're done with all that, go to the Make Movie tab under File Type. Uh, go down to MPEG Type 2 uh, is the best quality. I've done research and I've done uh, personal tests. Found out MPEG Type 2 is the best render uh, uh, under preset. Make sure it's HD 720p. It uh, will make it the best possible quality for YouTube. Now click the settings uh, right next to the create file. Click the settings thing. Um, under make file, make sure the file type is MPEG Type 2 and click preset custom um, audio compression settings you really don't need to mess with this stuff it really doesn't matter um, on the settings under video settings make sure it's variable bit rate or the data rate make sure that it is set to 8000 scroll it over it will probably be on 6000 make it 8000 so it will be the exact same as you captured in you won't lose any quality from your original capture when you uh, render it out which is very good <laughs> um, play sound when finished if you want you say no when your render is done it's up to you Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Um, after you're done with all this, of course, you just click Create File and video will begin rendering out. Uh, pretty straightforward from there on. You just upload it to YouTube after you're done. Um, anyway, uh, save it to whatever you like. Choose a location, you know, whatever. That's all up to you. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little video as to what the quality looks like. So here you go. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to those of you out there with Dazzles. Uh, you will improve quality by following this tutorial, so even if you think your quality is good enough, trust me, this is you know, pr the best possible Dazzle quality you'll ever get, period, into story. <laughs> you can't get any better than this unless you get an HD PVR or Black Magic or some expensive overpriced capture card. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, peace out, guys. Got the bomb. you now. We're counting on you. That's almost up! Good job, team. Get ready for the next round. 